Oh man, it is January 13th, 2011, or 2012, excuse me, oops. After his own conference, we did, I did a trade-off, and I went to Hilton Head. And we, you know, I, I taught a Spanish family there, because the other hundred didn't know how to speak Spanish. And just a few things here and there. But at 7, we went to go see a less active man named Chris. Chris Taylor. And other hunter had told me, you know, it's less active. His brother called us and said that we should come over. So, knock on the door, and he and he's answers, and, you know, he has dinner ready for us. So I was pretty stoked. You know, we just sat and talked for a minute, and me and Chris just immediately hit it off. Like, we, we have a ton of stuff in common. Like, he loves baseball, and he, and he, uh, and you know, loves basketball and likes to talk about sports and politics, you know, like, just me, pretty much. And we hit it off super well. And so we just talk and, and have dinner and just talk about, you know, our missions and talk about life. Talk about a lot of things, just getting to know him and just having a good time. And I just, he kind of changed the subject. He's like, okay, I, I know why you're, why my brother called you guys. Um, cause on December 31st, two weeks ago, I was driving down the dark road here on the island, and, uh, there was a drunk, there was a, a Spanish bar, a Mexican bar, on the side of the road, and there was, uh, I guess there was a bunch of drunk Mexicans outside, and he, uh, he was driving on the road, and one of the drunk Mexicans was in the road, and he... He, uh, hit him, because he didn't see him, and, uh, Chris ended up killing him, uh, he, the, the man died from this accident, um, and, you know, Chris did everything he could, he, he tried CPR, he tried all these things, and, you know, there's only so much you can do, and he just feels really guilty, he just opened up to us, he's like, yeah, I, I just, it's, it haunts me. You know, I, I'm I'm good one minute, and I'm just I'm just a mess. I'm crying, and I can't sleep. You know, it's just it's eating me alive. He you know, just he just talks about it to us, and he you know, just he opens up to us like, yeah, this this is I just this is hurting me. And we, we got to talking, and, and Elder Hunter suggested, you know, have you ever considered a blessing? And he's like, yeah, you know, my brother told me about that, but, you know, I just don't know, how, like, how to get in contact with the bishop. Like, I don't know how that process works to get a blessing and stuff. And I'm just basically like, look, all you have to do, it's really simple to get a blessing. All you have to do is tell us right now, and we can give you a blessing. He's like, oh, really? Okay. And for some reason inside me, I really wanted to give him the blessing. I don't know why, and I, I knew what I wanted to say in the blessing. I really wanted to get, but I'm like, no, that's weird. Like, it's not my area. It's, it's there less active. It's not mine. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. I just met him. Like that'd be kind of weird. I don't know. And so he's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll give the blessing, and I just have this feeling. And so we get a chair, and he sits down on it, and all of a sudden, other hunter's like, utterly, you should say the blessing. I'm like what? <laughs> okay. Wow, that was easy. And. I'm like, Chris, do you want to give me the blessing? He's like, oh yeah, sure, definitely. And so I put my hand, we put our hands on his head, and I, I start the blessing. And as soon as I started the blessing, I just, I felt this warmness, this warm feeling. Just start from my feet and just move all the way up my body to my head and to my hands. It was incredible. <laughs> And I I blessed him that his Heavenly Father knew him, and that he loved him. I blessed him with the knowledge of the atonement, and that I said, you know, Christ didn't suffer just for our pains and our and our injuries and stuff and our and our sins, but he suffered for everything, all of our feelings, and he knows exactly what you're going through. And that just the spirit was just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. It was it was it was incredible. 
I had never ever felt like that during a last during a during a blessing. And then for some reason, I I, I told him in the blessing I, I blessed him with the ability to forgive himself, which is something I didn't really think of before. I blessed him with the with the ability to, to forgive himself of what he's done. And right as I said that, I I started to cry. <laughs> I had tears in my eyes. And as I was fighting back tears, I, I said, for some reason, you know, if you're seeking forgiveness from Heavenly Father, He has forgiven you. You are forgiven. And I, I said that, you know, between tears, that you are forgiven and that He loves you. And I muscled through that um, and said some other comforting things and and then I, I closed the prayer, and as soon as we took his took our hands off his head, he just like slunk back in his chair, and he's just like that is exactly what I needed. And he stood up, and his eyes were just puffy and wet and from tears, and shook my hand really firmly. He's like, "Thank you so much. That is exactly what I needed." He's just like, "Wow, I've never felt that before." I like. He just said that is probably the most intense spiritual experience I've ever had in my life. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> That's powerful. And I, I, I've, I will never ever be able to deny how strong the spirit was. I'll never be able to deny that spirit that was there. I mean, just seeing his eyes after the, the blessing, I knew that what I was saying was what the Lord wanted me to say. And you know, I truly believe that the Lord has placed us places, puts us places at the right exact moment at the right time for reasons. Like, I connected with him better than Elder Hunter, Elder Morta ever could. And because of that, I was able to, you know, dig deep and, 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 and give him a blessing. And because uh, just because we happened to be on a trade off that night and I happened to be in the area and we happened to be going to his place and we just happened to click like old buddies from high school all that was just right in line with with the Lord needing to give him a blessing through me I truly believe I was placed there for a reason and it was amazing <laughs>